Welcome to Alliance Concrete Pumps for this week's Tech, tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, we're going to go over the power delivery system for the pump and all the systems in it. So fed from the batteries, it goes to the breaker box with the 60 amp yellow Pollock breaker, which is a manual resetting breaker. We've gone over that in a previous tech tip if you, uh, if you have any problems with that. And then a 30 amp and a 20 amp self resetting breaker. So from the Pollock breaker, the 60 amp breaker, it'll come up through this P1 red wire into the P1 terminal and then that feeds all your power for the pump systems, remote, pumping cylinders, stuff like that. Uh, N1 is the ground for it. That just goes straight from this to your battery. So if you have any issues with things like e-stops and more sensitive circuitry with the pump, always check for ground resistance on that. Uh, you could have things like corroded terminals and that'll give you a good idea what's going on. Over to P2, that is fed by the 30 amp self-resetting breaker in the breaker box. That just comes up through here. P2 terminal up and then it goes up to this uh, 32 amp breaker. So you can see it's green, it says off. Why it's green and off, I don't know. Bad designs, but if you see that and your vibrator is not working, flick it up, it'll say on, and your vibrator should work normally if that was the issue. Uh, again, that goes up from P2, you can check for power there, and then at this breaker on both sides, if you have lack of power there, that's, a, that's an issue. From uh, the opposite side of that, we have N2, which is the ground for the vibrator. That's its own ground. Both are purely for the vibrator, both P2 and N2. So any vibrator related issues, these would be what you wanna look at as well as this breaker. Uh, the vibrator is not just an on and off with this breaker or the vibrator switch at the back of the pump. It does come on with pumping. So if you're trying to diagnose a no vibrator issue without actually pumping, it will, it'll never work. You, you do have to pump it. It does have a vibrator relay that it will go through. And uh, if you do have to dive that deep, you can always feel free to give our service department a call and we'll uh, give you the proper information on that and walk you along all the steps you need to get your pump up and running.